Right now, Guilty Gear Strive is in big trouble. Hi, and welcome to the channel. Before we get into the meat of the video, we need some context. Guilty Gear Strive is an anime fighting game that came out in the summer of 2021. It was released with a base roster of 15 characters and 8 additional have been released as of today. The game has a story mode, which you barely can name it that, as it is just a long cinematic. You cannot even play in it. There is the arcade where you can play against the CPU and get a few additional interactions between characters and that is basically the only incentive to play the arcade because you don't get anything else out of it. There is fishing mode as a hub-like activity but you literally just load it up, choose what you want to fish for and if you want to fish for one or ten things. Then you just press one button to fish and the same button to accept the rewards. Not very interactive to say the least. With the rewards from fishing you can customize your avatar, use different emotes, change and furnish your player lobby, get some soundtracks and items for the figure mode, to which we will come back to later. The rewards from fishing are not bad, customizing your own pixelated avatar can be fun. Nevertheless, when you are settled on a look, there is not much reason to do that again. More importantly, there is not much in what you really use your avatar for. In floors and lobbies, yes, there are ways to interact with each other. However, only if you go out of your way to do so. Because in the end, the only gameplay related thing you can do is to go to a battle station. Figure mode is personally for me very fun to use and valuable as a content creator. Figure mode is similar to the picture mode in other games where you can place your character and adjust the environment to take a picture or a screenshot of the scene you have composed. But again, for most people there is no incentive to do that because it has nothing to do with the stem of the game. The survival mode is a good addition where you fight endless waves of CPU opponents and based on your school you are ranked. Only bad thing about it is that it feels repetitive because it does not diverge basically at all from the experience that you get from all other game modes. You are still fighting an opponent with the same tools. Like in most games there obviously is the tutorial and mission modes that teach you all the basics of the game. I would add combos mode to the list as well because it functions practically the same way except that the combos are made by the players. All these three resources work well, but only if you seek out to learn through them. It is not naturally implemented in the journey and experience of the game. On top of all that we have mentioned so far, there are lobbies and parks. Lobbies are for people to play with friends and apply personalized settings. That sadly is not as customizable as I would like, but good enough I guess. Would have been cool if you could put buffs or some randomizing elements into the matches, something akin to what Mortal Kombat has. In that case there would be again more variety, but because otherwise you're just doing the same thing just in a different place. Park is the unranked of the game, where usually the people from Celestial sit as they do not want to lose the rank. So as a new player or someone with a ranked anxiety, it can be very discouraging to play against the top percent of players. There is no safe environment for new players to learn and have fun with the game. Lastly, there is ranked. There is not much to say because it is a part of every competitive game. You play against opponents, improve and rank up accordingly. Why am I listing all of this? Well, you might have been able to deduce that the game does not have any variable content. Its most exciting and basically the only content expansions that it gets are characters. And that is quite limiting, considering that you might not enjoy the released character, and now you are back to doing what you have always done, going 1v1 against other players in ranked. And there is only so many matches you can be bothered to do in a day. Most people keep playing by making their own goals, like getting better at the game, learning specific mechanics or ranking up. But when people have to make their own challenges in the game to have a reason to keep playing it, there is a problem. You grind for satisfaction that derives only from the sense of accomplishments. There are many people, including that I know personally from a Discord server, by the way join if you haven't yet, that love the game but play only to have fun with others in lobbies because there is nothing else to do. Many of these people have already hit the ranked goals, so the question is, now what? I really did fall in love with the game, but it is hard to be hopeful about the future when a new fighting game like Street Fighter 6 is around the corner. It has a playable story into which the tutorial is built in. You play as your extremely 
customizable character with moves and abilities of characters in the game that you acquire by meeting them and learning from them in the story. You additionally customize your clothing pieces and the in-game characters also have their own acquirable costumes and skins. It has JRPG elements where you roam around the world of Street Fighter in a third-person perspective until you start fighting someone. Then it goes into the fighting game perspective that we all know so well. With that avatar you can battle it out with others in the hub, extreme battle game mode where you can set up special rules and gimmicks in a match, team battle mode where you compete in teams, single eliminations or double style battles. On top of that an actual playable character story based arcade mode. Like holy shit how many different and exciting things to do. As a fighting game enthusiast I can't help but feel compelled by SF6 because of the sheer amount of content in it. Also this is only a positive for me as a content creator. More content to make content about. But I'm also frustrated as I want more of Strive specifically. I will never quit the game until maybe the next installment but I will probably have to migrate to Street Fighter 6. Looking at the conversation from the community I'm not the only one. I'm not saying that Guilty Gear Strive is going to die. It has a very strong foundation, but as a fan, you would like your game to be more than just fine. Moving on to my next point, which are the servers. Problems with the server connections and even trying to play the game has been horrendous for almost a month now. They have improved it and I am sure the problem will be mitigated at some point. Nevertheless, the damage has been done. Some people have quit and moved on because of this. Additionally, there was a surge of new players with the release of Xbox version of the game and I am positive that not many stuck around to wait for a fix. What does this mean for Guilty Gear Strive? Well, some have named it the beginning of the end, but I'm not as pessimistic. I just think the size of the game will gradually decrease with time unless there is an actual content update that will overhaul the non-ranked experience. But the likelihood of that happening, all I have to say is I guess this is me just rambling about the natural course of a game that I like. Every game has a player base that think that their favorite game is doomed for one reason or another and are raising their concerns. I have seen so many posts about League of Legends or Minecraft dying but they always are up there as the most played and watched games. As someone new to the fighting game genre, I don't feel the same happens in these parts. I hear people go on and on about how great Street Fighter 3, Third Strike and Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 were, but other than bigger YouTubers playing it from time to time, there is barely any coverage of these games. I, as someone who just discovered Strive, am afraid that it will meet the same fate sooner than I would like. I know I'm being selfish, talking about how the game needs to improve in order for me to enjoy the game more. I could say that I am hard on copium and hopium. The thing is, the game has changed my life, because look at me, making videos about it and playing it with a nice small community. I guess there's nothing else to do but just to wait and see what happens in the future. And I guess I'll see you then. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.